to have Art with us back in Culpeper today to help us celebrate the 100th anniversary of naval aviation. Uh, for those of you that don't know, becoming a naval aviator, and, and very similar to the Air Force, is about a two-year process just to get the basic gold wings on your chest. Some of the folks today will be sporting those in, in deference to and uh, uh, to naval aviation, so you'll see those guys out there wearing the shirts today. Here comes Art. From, from the left in a photo pass, so get your cameras ready because as Art comes by, this is an excellent opportunity, a low speed flyby where he's going to give you a planned form of the aircraft and he's coming across left to right. And he's going to turn out and begins to add the throttle over his The aircraft is a, uh, for jet transition, is a, is a fairly easy aircraft to fly compared to some of the more sophisticated ones. And you see Art right up there uh, maneuvering the aircraft and making it look very, very easy. As he comes by, you're going to watch, do, watch Art do an aileron roll. And so what he'll do is line the aircraft up on the runway, pick his speed, raise the nose slightly, there it goes, and now there comes the aileron roll. While he's talking, while he's turning away, uh, huh? you talk like you know something about naval aviation. What do you know about naval aviation? Well, I've, I've been involved with all these guys in naval aviation for a very long time, and I feel very fortunate in my career to have uh, 27 years of involvement in naval aviation and having flown aircraft like this. 
uh, from the F-14 and F-18, A-4s, uh, Israeli computers, and a host of others, uh, including training. So I'm very thankful for that, John. And everybody thought you were just an administrator, right? Well, I am now. And as Art comes back from the left side, ladies and gentlemen, he's going to pick up speed in the airplane. He's got about a 30-degree nose down on the aircraft. He's now going to do the half Cuban 8. Unless he gets me in for the So he comes to the airplane at the top of the speed. He's going to come halfway around the circle, keeping the airplane absolutely lined up with the show line. Doing what a good fighter pilot does, taking us all up into the sun so we can't see him. And then he's going to come back out of us, out of the sun. Now watch him roll around. That's a half Cuban 8, ladies and gentlemen. Art's uh, been very fortunate to fly quite a number of airplanes in his career. He was also a test pilot and uh, has flown pretty much every airplane you see here on the field in one fashion or another. He makes it look easy, doesn't he? Frank, it looks like he's doing a, the whole Cuban thing. So he did the other Yeah. Half. Two of them put together, I guess, John. That's the way to go. Yeah. He makes it sound like he doesn't even have any power on the airplane, doesn't he? Yeah, it sound like it's not much bigger than one of those models you guys were flying out there earlier. <laughs> Probably a little more expensive to fly, though. Bring a whole lot more fuel, I guarantee you. Yeah. A lot more fun, though, I think. Yeah. What are we doing next? Here comes Art, back around from the right now. You guys want to stop that TBM there, please? thing too is that, that uh, John, he, he was a test pilot for a very long time and those guys are pretty much by the numbers when they do those tests. Uh, they get out there and explore the envelope of those aircraft so that when those of us fly and uh, you know we know exactly where that envelope is. Here comes left to right. The other good thing they do for us is when they find out what the envelope really is, they tell us it's about 25% of that. Two, looks like a four point one. Three. Wait till he cracks it up. He's going to crank it up later, isn't he, Frank? Yes, he is. Yeah, I got pictures of the movie A Top Gun running through my head right now with that movie. <laughs> Thank you, brother. We appreciate the music, man. Okay, here he comes again. Watch, watch out. He just does a really a smooth eight-point roll. Looks like. Back again from the left. He's going to do a slow roll to the left, away from the crowd. His smoke is on. Went up about 100 feet above the runway, pitching the nose up. A nice slow roll away from the crowd, ended up 90 degrees off the show line. 
Fantastico. Funny, looks like you put you wish that you were in that cockpit, right? I do, I do. He's coming up now to do a four-point roll. One of the wonderful things about it is that uh, guys like Art and uh, some of these folks that are out here today really take the time and trouble to preserve these aircraft and show them the crowd so that we can have air shows like this and, and enjoy what America allows us to enjoy. Yeah, that's, I don't think I'm going to run out and buy a couple of those. Uh, <laughs> one thing you got to know about the airplane is that uh, this airplane doesn't have any really hydraulic assist to it. And so, uh, unlike some of the more sophisticated airplanes that you fly in, uh, in careers like uh, we've had, this one doesn't have quite the roll rate. And uh, it takes a lot of stick force really to get that airplane in order. And, uh, I was, Art and I talked about that yesterday. I was very surprised to, uh, to hear how much stick force he ever actually has to put into it. Uh, to make the airplane do that, so it's it's uh, it's it's strenuous on the pilot as well. Aileron roll to inverted, coming from the left. The key here is to always know. Okay, he's popping. He's popping it up now. He's going to do the aileron roll, and then when he gets out the other side, Art is going to put the landing gear down and come in for a landing. Art looks like he's in perfect form here today, as he usually is. He spends a lot of time perfecting his art and what he does here for us at this air fest. Art for art. Art for art. Frank, the TBM out there is very special, and we're going to have a fellow come over from that airplane and talk to us about it and why it's being flown today. If he doesn't make it okay, over. there goes Art on the pitch up. So what he's going to do is a, is a uh, well, he's bringing the gear down now as, as he rolls. You see the little wheels there, which we all like to see before we land. Otherwise, it takes a lot of power to get the airplane back into the uh, hangar area. Gears down, and Art's happy. He's got three in the green. That's always a good sign for anybody that's out there flying airplanes. Art's doing a very short sort of circular pattern it looks very much like what we'd use when we uh, fly aboard an aircraft carrier and on an aircraft carrier we we land one airplane every 45 seconds and usually about 20 to 35 airplanes in a recovery so it's quite a sophisticated way of doing business and arts demonstrating to you there um, the, the pattern that we use to be enabled pilots to get back aboard the aircraft carrier as quickly as possible Nice smooth landing. Usually, usually on the carrier, you stop in a lot shorter distance, but your neck hurts more. You all wave your handkerchiefs. Everybody wave. Art Niles, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, Art, for a great display. Look at that. He stopped it right in the middle. I think he thinks he's in the hair here. He never misses an opportunity to blow exhaust at us up here. Oh, 39 is coming in, so 
Art Halls, ladies and gentlemen, and the L-39. What a, what a good show. What a smooth flying airplane. Now the TBM out in front of you is a uh, Navy plane.